rain's starting to pick up a bit, so I'm gonna hop in my poncho, see if I can find that, hit it back to the van. First, it's pretty cold out here, so let's start the diesel heater from right here. Button pressed. I don't know if it started, but uh, we'll see. Yes, it did start. It's on. Ah. So we ran into a problem. The diesel heater was sputtering and smoking really bad. I don't know what happened. But um, I just got this thing. Hopefully it's nothing major. Let's start again. I had to turn my roof vent on because it started to smell like diesel in here. And yeah, so. Everything is connected properly and everything. I, I don't understand. All right, so it seems to be working now. I don't know if it just had to adjust to the altitude because I think I'm up like 3,000, maybe 4,000 feet. Um, yeah, it's pumping heat right now. Um, so I don't know. One thing I do know, I'm soaked and I need to dry off a little bit. I crawled on the wet ground trying to fix and look under there to see what was going on. I couldn't see anything. So I guess maybe the bumpy road shook it up, made it flood. I'm not really sure. It could be altitude. If you have any ideas, let me know below. I need to get myself together, warm up a bit, dry off. See if I can dry some of this stuff before I head out to Coal Mountain, which is like uh, an alpine meadow of sorts. Just a meadow in the mountains, which is really cool. So before you head out there, make sure everything's straight. I think the smell of diesel is leaving. We'll see though, I'm still venting out. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get myself together really quick. There's mud all over the floor. I can't stand when my van gets dirty. <laughs> and I know being an adventurer, it's gonna get dirty. But I cannot stand that. That's why I love this. You can use this just like a blow dryer for your hair. Especially if you have lots. They stay wet forever. But this heat is hotter than the blow dryer. So this works out perfectly. I got the coat drying off up there. It's drying off pretty nice. I guess the diesel heater fogs up the windows. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm fairly new. I only had this for like two days. And I checked the altitude. We're at 3,500 feet. I don't know if that had anything to do with the diesel heater or the fact that it was a rocky forest road and the van was rocking, but it sure was sputtering. Um, you know what? Here's my poncho. I got super lucky because I didn't know where this thing was. I just stuffed it under here somewhere. Ha! Huh. I turned the diesel heater off because I'm not sure if you can leave it just just leave it while you're not here for like 30 minutes to an hour. Um, so yeah, I just turned it off. I'm gonna get ready, head on out to Coal Mountain and show you this wonderful, beautiful place that not too many people know about.
about 40 degrees out here. It's not really cold, but it's cold enough and it's raining. <laughs> I'm heading up to Cold Mountain right now. I want to show you this awesome spot and I bet it looks amazing with this fog and rain. <laughs> I think Colt Mountain is about one mile from the parking area, so it's not that far of a hike, but it is pretty slick out here. So I'm gonna take caution because I'm already injured. <laughs> and if I fall on this wrist, I think that's it. It's gonna be donezo. So I'm gonna take my time. <laughs> Whoa, check that. Hopefully there's no animals under there. Oh, I'm thinking this ground was frozen because it just pops and falls. The cloud cover, our fog, is getting pretty thick now. We're still going up in elevation getting super thick so eerie and spooky out here this is the best kind of hiking in my opinion if you've been on my channel for a while you know I love eerie and you know I love spooky the weird and unusual <laughs> this is right up my alley <laughs> on me I'm soaked this is amazing to witness mother nature's power and conditions first being like this my first time in this meadow I'm getting drenched oh my god oh. mountain it's starting to get pretty chilly let's head back to the van explorers and feel the warmth of the diesel heater <laughs> i am soaked i think these pants they dry pretty quick so i don't know if i'm going to change these or not but uh yeah, that diesel heater, I'm telling you, it feels so good in here. <laughs> Y'all are going to get sick of me mentioning the diesel heater. <laughs> it just feels so good, and I'm like so stoked to have it. I'm going to get ready and change these pants, although they're drying super quick. I just want to be a little more comfortable.
good old pair of sweatpants. Heck yeah. You know, adventures like these, they make my life so exciting and I love to do these adventures. This was such a great adventure and I'm so happy that I can bring you all along with me because I want you all to experience this as I am experiencing this. That way, if you're interested in doing this or if you've been interested in the outdoors and you just don't know how it is or whatever the case may be interested in van life you know that's why i make these videos to inspire you entertain you and just giving you a peek into my life i guess and i don't know how loud the diesel heater is in the video it's really not that loud and it's on high right now so it's it's a super quiet diesel heater the fuel pump's pretty quiet it's on max and it's pulling 22 watts right now. <laughs> That's awesome. Coming up here soon in a couple of weeks, hopefully a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be doing this awesome video with a friend. We're gonna be doing some uh, camping and he has this unusual camping setup. So we're gonna be out there and I want you all to come along with us. He'll be filming, I'll be filming, and hopefully this happens. We've been talking about this for so long. And I'm hoping that if he sees this video and he hears me say this, that it'll actually happen, you know, just manifesting it just so it will happen. I think it's gonna be a great video, an awesome video. Um, be sure if you like this kind of content and you wanna support the channel, help the channel out, maybe help me get to full-time van life and be able to upgrade to solar a little bit. Be sure to like, comment, let me know what you think. If you know places to go, you know, I'll go, you know, just let me know. Drop some comments. Uh, I hope you all have enjoyed this adventure and watching me experience the diesel heater out in the elevation at 4,000 feet, like, that's the first time I've taken this diesel heater. I've, I've literally had this for two days and I'm so stoked I keep speaking about it. As always, Explorers, peace, love, and have a great day wherever you are.